boy, do I remember one of those conferences very well. I had to knock on the door in one of those conferences and tell the justices that John Kennedy has been assassinated. Would you believe no, that? Well, oh, that, that I mean, to... that, that's history right there. I mean, my goodness, I can't imagine yeah. what, what, who, so what was, what, what did you just to, like stop? Cause this is history that we're hearing about. What was the reaction? I mean, what was the reaction when that happened? I mean, there was shock. First, Arthur Goldberg, who was my justice and was the youngest justice, said, Alan, you can't come in here. You know that. And I said, Mr. Justice, the justice isn't going to want to hear this. And I was the only one on the Supreme Court uh, that had a television because I'm a fanatical baseball fan. It was shortly after the World Series. And all the justices came into my little cubicle. Wizard White was crying because he was a very close friend of, uh, of the president of the United States. The chief justice then ordered all the justices to disperse and go to different places because he didn't know whether it would be a Lincoln type plot, including others, and left the law clerks behind to take care of the business of the court. It was quite a day, quite a day uh, in, in, in 1963. That's probably one of those days, technology wise, if you think about it, you're like, I wish I had a picture of that moment in time. Yeah. yeah me um, too. Yeah. All right. 